So Steve, a unanimous verdict for the planning approval. Can we just get your reaction to that? It's just fantastic, fantastically uh, excited and pleased. I mean, it, it, it hasn't really sunk in. It's just such a huge moment for the club. Um, so many planning applications in the past that have gone in that have failed. Um, so to achieve that is, is absolutely fantastic. And with unanimous support from the council, I have to say, have been absolutely superb throughout the whole process. Um, you know, our case officer, Matt, absolutely excellent. And, you know, a real, as I've said publicly, a real momentum behind it and a real willingness to try and make it happen. Everybody just sees what a positive thing is the area. And I think when we showed some of the councillors around the current facilities, you know, they were as sort of embarrassed in some ways as us about the size of dressing rooms and referees rooms and, 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 and of course, most importantly, the facilities for the spectators. So, you know, this would just be such a massive change for the club. I'm so excited. People have worked so hard for this. Um, it's the product of a lot of thinking over the last eight years, a lot of hard work by people and not, not an insignificant amount of money either. So it's just huge and, and just so exciting for me personally as a supporter of the club. You know, that's that's number one. And, and number two, just as, as, as somebody who's managing a team of people that have all worked brilliantly together to make it happen. It seems like it's happened so quickly since you first revealed the plans. Is the, the fact that you've worked so well with the council and the residents, has that helped? Yeah, and also sometimes, you know, I think we've had a bit of criticism for not telling people what we're doing. You know, sometimes you've got to work behind the scenes and you've got to work out the best thing that's got the most chance of success. You know, no one would want us to be putting things forward and then failing and then, you know, falling out with the council, falling out with, 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 with residents. That's not what we want at all. And I said it countless times that we bring forward a scheme that we knew, you know, had a good chance of success. Equally, the money, you know, we've spent, you know, well in excess of a million pounds on this planning application of direct money and then a lot of more of indirect money and of time spent um, on it. So, you know, we need to make sure that we, we spend the club's money wisely in every aspect. So it's very, very important that we took our time and all the in that background analysis that resulted in us arriving at a scheme that's successful today. So what are the next steps from here? Um, me and you back to the stadium with a pick and a shovel and... <laughs> get on with it <laughs> no look we've got to plan out how we do it now obviously um, there's lots of things to be organized not least you know how it's funded uh, in what order we do things uh, we've got a lot of sitting down to do to go through the construction plan the construction site make sure that we work out a plan that minimizes the disruption for everybody including the supporters that come to games so uh, lots of work to do but um, it's a massive massive step forward and finally, have you got a message for that? I think it was over 4,500 people that went on the council website in support of the plans. Fantastic. And, you know, the support, the supporters are fantastic at this club. I mean, Saturday was, was, was an emotional day. Just a fantastic, fantastic support from the crowd and, and, and support that I've had, you know, since I arrived at the club. So all of the people that supported it in so many ways, the 4,500 people that went onto the site, of course, they played their part and, and will continue to play their part, I'm sure, as we move forward.